video. In today's video, we are going to discuss some super shortcut keys. Being an accountant or any company employees, you must be working with huge data. To manage the large number of data randomly was quite difficult and hence you are required some useful shortcut keys which will help you work smoothly on Excel. So let's see what are some super shortcut keys. Firstly, we will discuss some commonly used shortcut keys. So here there are some commonly used shortcut keys. First is tab. Tab helps you to move into the right cell of the worksheet. Like if you have data here, you can move into the next cell just by clicking on tab. And similarly, if you want to move left side of the sheet, so just press shift tab so you can come into the left side of the cell. Ctrl plus N helps you to go into the last cell of your worksheet. Like here if you can see, it will uh, take you into the last cell of your sheet. Just like Ctrl plus Home takes you into the first cell of your sheet. As you have bulk data which you segregated into different sheets, so the shortcut key for moving into an other sheet is Ctrl page down. It will take you into the other sheet. Uh, similarly, if you want to go back into your previous sheet, so just press Ctrl page up. It will take you into the previous sheet. Let's suppose you have empty column or row between your data. So press Ctrl plus arrow. It will automatically take you into the data you have put into the cell and it will skip the empty cell like this. The page up shortcut key helps you to move upside your worksheet similarly page round takes you to the down, downside of your sheet just like this. Just like page up and down key takes you to the upside and downside of the sheet similarly all page up and page down takes you to the left, left side and right side of the sheet. The next is insert and delete the row and column. To insert the row, firstly select the whole row by pressing shift plus space and then either you can press control shift and equal or you can just press control plus for adding the row. And if you want to delete the row, just press control minus so that you can delete all the unnecessary row. For inserting another column into your data, just press Ctrl space for selecting the whole column and then press Ctrl shift equal or you can also use Ctrl plus for more columns. If you want to delete the columns, just press Ctrl minus so that it will remove all the columns. If you want to delete your number into some other format, then firstly, if you want to change some percentage number into the general format, then press Ctrl, Shift and Squiggle so that it will convert into the general format. And if you want to change it into the number format, then press Ctrl, Shift and 1 so that it will convert into the number format. Similarly, if you want to change it into the percentage, then press Ctrl, Shift and 5 so that it will automatically convert your general number into the percentage form. If you want to put currency in your number, then press Ctrl Shift 4 so that it will provide you the default currency number. Also, if you want to know how to change the default currency into the Indian rupee, then please watch our video on Indian formatting. The link is in description. And if you want to change the number into date format, then press Ctrl Shift Hash so that it will change your number into the date format. To put the current date and time into your data, just click Ctrl Shift and colon for the time and press Ctrl semicolon for the date. From school to college, we use some formula to get the total of any data. But to working as an accountant or in any company, one have to quit by small calculation. So the shortcut key to get the total amount is just click Alt equal and enter. It will give you the total amount in less time. 
and if there are some filters on your data and you want profit of some particular product so let's suppose we want the uh, profit of apple pixel and samsung so let's see how all function work press alt equal to so it will only take the filtered data you have chosen press enter and it will only total the profit you have selected by filtering the data repeatedly typing the formula for every data takes lot of time as we have a huge amount of data but with shortcut key you can do it with a less time so let's see let's suppose we want to know the profit of every product so let's put the formula in the first cell enter it will calculate the profit but if you want to know the profit for every data you cannot put the formula into every cell so for that select the column and press control d so that it will calculate the profit percentage for every product similarly for the row if you want the total sale of a current year and previous year then press alt equal enter and if you want the same formula for the previous year sale as well then select the row and press control r so that it will calculate the uh, previous year sale total you know it's good to present your bulk data into chart which will easy for others to understand your data so to use chart quickly select the data and press alt function f1 you can see it will automatically convert your data into the chart and if you want to highlight the chart just press function f11 so that it will take you into the other sheet of your worksheet and you can present your chart here use the shortcut keys regularly so that you will remember it every time whenever you work in excel i hope this video helps you stay connected for more videos